Bananas, apple, water. A lot of the coffee is empty. How do you gonna survive then? Yeah, that's a disaster. Yeah. Got some space in the car? Jesus, I totally forgot about those. And funniest thing is I even took one with me because I didn't. Now it's gotten cold again in the Baltic Sea. It's like 12, 13 degrees, but windy. What the fuck? So, boys are here from the German Windsurf Cup. Gunnar Asmussen, Fabi, and I think we're gonna go foiling a bit. I keep saying that we need to start training on the foil, or I need to start training, but then I always end up going on the fin again. <laughs> so today is the day. I think I, I will rig the, one of the new foil sails, maybe, 5466 something like that and then a little bit of testing a bit of training he has a winter cup at the weekend german winter cup we'll see if i if i attend if we go there but uh, yeah let's have some fun today and a bit of training that doesn't work that doesn't work Doesn't work. Doesn't work. For some reason, I thought I already got the small foil sails, foil slalom sails, but then, ah, that works. But then I just realized I didn't get them yet, only until 7 8 are smallest. That's a bit too big for today. So I have to use a slalom sail for now. So I'm with the uh, 700 front wing now, 700 meaning the width, actually not the area, the area is something around 560. And as you can see, if you look here, we put quite a lot of shims. So there's uh, quite a gap here, and that is because um, I think with this with this with this combination, because I'm with the neoprene foil and the starboard, I want either the back fo foot strap further in the back, because the, the nose is really pointing down a lot. Um, but because I can't go further back, I'm shimming it up so that I get a little bit more the nose a bit more straight, because you want the wind. Uh, passing from from both sides equally let's say as soon as it's a little bit like this when the gust comes it pushes further down as soon as it's a bit like that the gust comes it pushes further up so you really want to find a kind of the middle so the wind can flow around it what that is also yeah yeah what what uh, what top speed you did today 35 no I don't believe it. Yeah, no. 30. <laughs> yeah. 32 oh. 32 I have to start measuring my speed. I never, I never do. But you can have my GPS if you this want. Is a chorus or? This is a Sonto. Do not faster. So Sonto maybe you should take faster? that. Maybe you should take that. I take that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So your actual speed is 30, not 32, because it's this one's too not Probably faster. Probably 27. I remember already two years ago, uh, like Celent, you did already more than 30 knots with the one oh, meter front oh, wing. 28, 28 knots 28. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you crashed like 500 times to beat me, <laughs> I remember that. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah, good. <laughs> was offshore the wind? Is yeah, super gusty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but where it's flat, you can go super fast. Huh? But in these conditions now, with waves like this, it's super wavy something. outside. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's a bit tricky. It's flat is it a say, uh, free ride here? It's quite flat, huh? It's a free ride. Free ride. Cane bars are not in, huh? <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, I think I, I talked about this already in the last video. It's uh, the 4 meter mast. 
really long, very soft. But looks like lo looks like you have no pressure point, no stable pressure point because it's so flat. Yeah. But it's fucking stable. It's quite nice. It's good for falling. <laughs> <laughs> we will see, yeah. <laughs> Taxi service green. <laughs> Thanks. Nice, look at that weather. Beautiful. In the end the mass had a bit too much break. So yeah, it was too bit of a big of a gap. So I had so much lift that uh, it was hard to control. Then I put the mass space a bit forward, but if uh, there's too much break, then the wart wants to go up and then you try to push it down with the base and it's like imbalance, you know? So better it's it's better if from the beginning on you set the rake right, tailwing tailwing right, and then you play a bit with the mass base. That was sick, huh? It was really sick. Look good from the drone and from the water. Yeah, some training, some racing, and then some fun in the end. Some duck drives. Dude. Hey, so I last paying for the park ticket. How much was it? Three. Three euro. Okay. I don't get some, how some people always go windsurfing or kite surfing here because it's actually it's not that like you have to walk really far. Yeah, you have to run kind of two kilometers or something. Yeah, you have to carry your gear really far. 
There's a sand bank which you have to pass first. So, yeah, I don't get it. And there's a lot of seaweed. The east coast of Kiel. Now we went, came to the west coast. Actually, uh, actually, it's not even Kiel Bay. It's the next bay, but the east coast is much nicer. That's where we're from. Cheers. Ich hab die drei Schrauben hier vergessen. <lacht> Fucking hell.